So Gina, do I have your permission to film this for my class? You may. Okay, so what we're doing today is called a manual muscle test, and we are going to test your shoulder external rotators. So we are looking at the teres minor and the infraspinatus. And I am for the testing position, we're going to have her prone both for less than 3 out of 5 as well as for greater than 3 out of 5. Um, and what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to stabilize her ipsilateral thorax. And then I'm going to passively move her arm through the motion. So we're going to move just like that. Okay. Are you able to raise your arm up towards the ceiling like that, please? Excellent. And then I'm going to apply some resistance. I want you to hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay. And so she was able to hold it there. I would grade that a 5 out of 5 since neither her scapula nor her shoulder moved out of position. If she wasn't able to do that, I'd have her go ahead and slide to the side for me. So here we have her arm dangling. I'm still going to stabilize the ipsilateral thorax, but with this time I'm going to ask her if she's able to bring up her hand towards the ceiling, and she's not. So I am going to ask her to rotate her thumb out towards this, the wall, okay? And then back towards center, and then one more time please. So while she's doing that, I can feel the teres minor and the infraspinatus contracting. Um, and so I would grade that a 2 out of 5 because she's got the motion and I can feel the contraction. If she was not able to turn her wrist, but I could feel the contraction here at the infraspinatus and teres minor, that would be a 1 out of 0. I'm sorry, 1 out of 5. And if there was no motion, she wasn't able to do the rotation, and I felt no contraction here at the shoulder, then that would be a 0 out of 0.